In our Colorado, Airbnb and VRBO aren't black and white issues. Some homeowners want the ability to make some extra income. Other homeowners say they don't want a rotating cast of characters in the house next door. Well, this week, the town of Parker became the latest to crack down on short-term rentals. And Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen found hosts who had no idea. When the Thielen family started growing, they started looking for a way to make extra money to pay off debt and pay for child care. It's a full bed, uh, table, chair, light. So for the last two years, they've been renting this guest bedroom in their Parker home on Airbnb almost every night. We see a lot of travelers. We see a lot of students. But this week, the town of Parker is cracking down on short-term rentals. The town council approved clarifying language this week to define tourist homes, which haven't been allowed for years, as short-term rentals, like Airbnb or VRBO. Parker police say they're not proactively looking for people to find. This will be based on complaints, um, education first, and if repeat violations are occurring, then a summons can be issued. Parker's not alone when it comes to short-term rental restrictions. Morrison banned Airbnb-type rentals years ago, and cities including Denver, Aurora, and Golden restrict to only primary residences. The, the general trend that we are seeing is towards more regulation, towards more restrictions. Realtor James Carlson specializes in finding people legal short-term rental properties in Colorado. I do think that there is uh, certainly a strong property rights mentality here in Colorado, and I personally appreciate that and think that uh, people should be able to do with their property what they want within reason. Back in Parker, police have had only one complaint about short-term rentals in the last five years, and Airbnb shows three 300 plus hosts in the town who technically shouldn't be hosting. I think it will be very hard to enforce this rule. For this family, it's also hard to imagine suddenly stopping their side hustle when so many people need their service. I don't think the state, county, or town should be able to enact legislation on what you do in your own home. In Parker, Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7.